Hey everyone, welcome back. In this ISTQB Foundation exam question and answers video, I'm going to cover another five exam questions with detailed explanation and answer, which will help you in your ISTQB Foundation exams. So question, first question of this particular set, let me change the color. Okay. So the first question says, or question number 11 of this particular set, which of the following provides the best description of the shift left approach? Okay. So shift left approach and the best description is what we have to figure figure out out of four options we just have to select one option okay now let's see and read these options and conclude which is the correct option so when agreed by the developers manual activities on the left hand side of the test process are automated to support the principle of early testing saves time and money okay so when agreed by developers manual activities on the left side of the test process are automated okay no that is not correct you can't automate everything on the left hand side of the test process to support the principle of early testing saves time and money early testing principle doesn't say to automate or it's not about automating everything that is there okay so this is not the best description of the shift left approach we can straight away cancel this particular option second option says where cost effective test activities are moved to be performed earlier in the software development life cycle to reduce the total cost of quality by reducing the number of defects found later in the SDLC absolutely correct statement about shift left what shift left approach is all about you move the testing efforts and activities as early as possible in perform earlier in the software development life cycle so that you have the static analysis going on you find the issues upfront you involve your testers upfront and this is what this statement says where cost effective test activities are moved to be performed earlier in the software development life cycle to, re to reduce total cost of quality by reducing the number of defects found in the later phases now if we talk about the waterfall approach testing the test execution was after development was complete so involvement early involvement of testers in the design and low level design understanding all of that was the execution came very late and that's where the issues if found later were if there were requirement issues or the design issues it was a lot of cost to go back and fix the design do the development again according to the new design and all of that right so b looks absolutely correct let's eliminate the other options when they have spare time available testers are required to automate tests for regression testing starting to come with component test and component integration test no that's not what testers will do when they have spare time testers are required to automate tests for regression testing and then starting from unit test or component integration test that's that's not what the shift left shift left approach is all about it's not just about automating okay this statement talks only about automating so this is also incorrect when available testers are trained to perform tasks early in sdlc to allow more test activities to be automated again just talks about automated and then perform task early that's not what it is performing tasks early is not about shift left shift left is more of move or testing activities are move or to be performed earlier in the sdlc right so involvement performing earlier activities in the sdlc that's where the best description of shift left approach is all about so this is also incorrect correct answer is b where cost effective test activities are moved to be performed earlier in the sdlc to reduce total cost of quality by reducing the number of defects found in later SDLC okay later phases of SDLC moving to the next question the second question of this particular video which of the following is least likely to occur as a result of retrospective okay so now agile retrospective what is the least likely option so you have to select one option so we'll go through the these options the quality of future test objects improve improved by identifying improvements in the development practices right so this is this is most likely right it is not least likely so quality of future Future test objective will improve as a result of objective uh, re result of retrospective so this is looking for least likely option test efficiency improves by speeding up the configuration of the test environments through automation that's also not the least likely result this is most likely result that it efficiency will improve if there is a feedback in the retrospective that we should speed up the configuration of the test environment through automation that will that is most likely to occur as a result of retrospective end users understanding of the development and test process is improved test processes improved this looks correct select mark market and go through the fourth option automated test scripts 
are enhanced through feedback from developers. This is again most likely will be a result of retrospective or will be a feedback based on the feedback, the improvement of the retrospective. So this is also not the least likely. The least likely to occur as a re result of retrospective is end users understanding of the development and test processes is improved. That's least likely to occur, right? So there is nothing that happens in an in a retrospective meeting that end users understanding of development and test processes improve okay this is the least likely occurrence of retrospective meeting okay so that's the correct option now moving to the third question of this particular video which of the following test levels is most likely now here we have to select most likely being performed if the testing is focused on validation and is not being performed by testers okay so which of the following test levels is most likely being performed if testing is focusing on what on validation and not being performed by testers okay so validation validation is more of dynamic testing right so when we say we have to select one option so dynamic testing not being performed by testers so if we talk about component testing component integration testing system integration testing all of this could be performed by testers so here they are saying not being performed by testers system test system integration is performed by tester component integration testing is is performed by tester component testing mostly by developers in very rare cases by testers right which is unit testing so this is not correct this is not correct this is not correct because they are asking focused on validation and is not performed by testers so that is acceptance testing which is mostly by business user or end users so this is the correct option for this particular question moving to the fourth question of this particular video the navigation system software has been updated due to its suggesting routes that break traffic laws okay so there is basically it has been updated due to suggesting routes that break the traffic laws such as driving the wrong way down one way street so basically mostly it would be a defect that that uh, the software that was in, in the system software in the navigation system software that has been fixed and updated right which of the following best describes the testing that will be performed be because of this update okay so now if you see navigation system software has been updated okay Okay, due to due to it suggesting routes that break traffic laws such as driving in wrong way down one way streets. Okay, so this is basically this is the fix that has gone in the navigation system software. So there was a defect raised and the defect was the navigation system was suggesting routes that break traffic laws. So that fix has gone. Now in the update this was fixed as well as so in, in the update this was fixed and as part of that update now they are asking which of the following best describes the testing that that you will perform now whenever there is a defect fix or updates which fix something there will be two types of testing that you will mostly do first thing is confirmation or retesting and then regression okay so here if we see we have to select one option only confirmation testing no why because the whole system navigation system system software has been updated to a newer version so only retesting won't help in this particular case okay then second option says confirmation testing then regression testing yes this is what you are going to do let's eliminate other options only regression no so only confirmation or regression is not going to help in any of the updates so usually depending this, this is basically a big flaw in the system and because of the big, big flaw or the impact that it will have you will choose regression the amount of regression that needs to be done on the system okay on the new version of the software but regression will be there along with confirmation so regression testing then confirmation testing no this is not the right way of doing it first you have to validate that the defect has actually been fixed if that is being fixed then that fix hasn't impacted any of the interrelated module or the code that was working previously is working absolutely fine so first confirmation and then regression so this is also incorrect option the correct option is confirmation testing then regression testing in this sort of scenario okay now moving to the last question of this particular video given the following example defects all right so these are the example defects which of the you have to read these and then the question is which of the following best identifies 
example defects that could be found by static testing rather than dynamic testing. So we have to figure out which defects out of these example five defects that you see here would be found by static could be found by static rather than dynamic. Okay, and we have to select one option. So let's go through these defects. Two different parts of the design specification disagree due to the complexity of the design. Now it's it, it's talking about the design specification, right? Right. two different part of the design specification disagree due to complexity of the design now this is more of a design document you are if you are review if you do static testing that means you will do re review of the design specification and that's most likely will help you to identify this particular issue so this is basically correct option for static testing it will you are most likely or best identify the example defect that you will be able to find with the static testing now the second one says a response time is too long and so makes user lose patience now when we say response time is too long and users lose uh, patience so that means when they are access accessing any particular application say for example you are accessing a website and website is loading or taking too much time to load that is not that you you won't be able to figure out unless the system is implemented software is implemented and servers are running and you are accessing the website that means you are doing the dynamic testing right so this is not what you will be able to find with the static testing okay so we'll cross that out a path in a code cannot be reached during execution so when the software is running you can't reach that path so it is high, very highly likely that you will be able to figure these type of issues with static testing. So third is also correct option. Now let's see where exactly we have first and third. So we have first and third only here, right? So with the first option, we just were left with C and D. So that means A and B were anyways incorrect. So we just had to work out C and D, right? So as soon as we figure out that third is the correct option, and third is only present in D option. So D is the correct option and we can ignore C which says fourth a variable is declared but never subsequent, subsequently used in the program. That's there in the D option as well. And this is where the static testing will, will help and dynamic phone and the amount of memory needed by the program to generate a report is too high. And this is again dynamic will be figured out with the dynamic testing and not static testing. So the correct option is D wherein one, three and four are the statements which will best identify or the example defect that could be figured out by static testing okay so that's all for this video in which i have covered another five questions in the next one i'll cover another five exam questions for astqb foundation version 4 exam thank you see you in the next one